Maybe you've heard something like this. Issue X is a really big deal. You should care about this. You should call your senator. You should do something about this. Get involved. So we kind of step back and say, well, why should I care about that? Issue X, Y, or Z. And as a Catholic, what's really like a large framework for how to understand how the church views things of great importance? So these are actually what's called the seven principles of Catholic social teaching. Really important to know these things, not only to understand why the Catholic Church believes that certain issues are of grave importance, but also it helps us really understand and navigate the complexities of who do I vote for and what policies are good policies and things like that. So uh, these seven principles are in hierarchical order, which means that the number one is number one. It's the most important, and then we work outward. Second, you'll also see that the a hierarchy of importance works from the human person out to all of society and the world. So if we get that order, you understand a great deal of how the Catholic Church understands what things are of great importance and why. So, principle of Catholic social teaching number one, the dignity of the human person. Hopefully this is very familiar to you. The Catholic Church teaches, well in accord with science, that human life begins at the moment of conception. And as Catholics, we believe it starts there and continues until natural death. And so the Church teaches with the authority of Christ that the human person in all of its stages is to be protected of great and equal dignity in all of its stages. So especially with many societies, uh, usually you can judge societies, if you will, based on how they treat uh, the most vulnerable. And so what are two very big vulnerabilities in our country today? Uh, in the womb and those who are end of life, end of life situations. So abortion and euthanasia are huge issues right now that we want to protect the dignity of every human life from conception to natural death. Okay, we work out from principle number one to principle number two. Principle number two is the call to family and communion. So the church cares so much about the family because it is the most vital cell of all of society. So as the family goes, so all of society. So the dignity of family keeping that a central, like there's rights to parents, rights of parents to educate, rights of parents to teach their children the ways of morality, etc. So we don't believe the government should have a real force to interject in that most vital cell of society because it is sacred. It is the most, uh, from a natural law perspective, the first cell of all of society. Principle number three are families and people have rights and responsibilities. So the church doesn't just say, hey, we have rights, but we also have responsibilities. As persons, we are charged to be able to love everyone in truth of heart. Uh, principle number four is the option for the poor and vulnerable. Again, hopefully you can see how we're, we're working outwards. The option for the poor and vulnerable is not only from Scripture, but it's also something that the Creator has just instilled in us that we must love. We have, must have a love for neighbor, especially those who are disenfranchised, vulnerable, do not have adequate resources, etc. So we actually see this as a vital importance to be a Catholic and how to vote and how to understand that we must care for people other than just ourselves. Principle number five is the dignity of work and the rights of workers. So the dignity of work and the rights of workers. Uh, this is actually a big point of conversion for me personally. I was an econ major in college uh, and uh, it was actually a point of conversion for me to realize that the Catholic Church teaches that the economy exists for people, not people for the economy. What does that mean? Well, it means that people who can work should work. The scripture says if you don't work, you can't eat. So we actually want everyone to work, and there's a dignity to work. Jesus Christ lived in Nazareth for 30 years working. So God loves work. But also there are rights of workers too. The right to employment, the right to a good wage, uh, the rights uh, to private property the right to economic initiative, etc. So the two work hand in hand. Principle number six is what's called solidarity, which means every one of us, regardless of our place or country of origin or difference, are all part of a big human family. We actually want to see everyone on this world as part of a larger whole of which I'm a part. So we should care about what's happening in Africa, what's happening in Ukraine, what's happening in Russia, because we're all part of the human family together. Principle and last principle, number seven, is care for God's creation, 
it's not like this is the most unimportant of ones, but it is, again, working out from the person outward. And so just as principle number six is solidarity, our human family, uh, we're all part of that. Principle number seven is we all have a common home, which is this environment, which is this world. And we should have a, a real care and stewardship uh, for the resources that God has given us. This is being good stewards of creation. The church actually has a lot to say on this as well, especially in these days where there's a lot of cares and concerns for the environment. So all this to say, hopefully you see the logic of how a Catholic should think on the various issues, the seven principles of Catholic social teaching, of which there's a hierarchy going from the inside or from the human person out to all of society and the world. God bless you.